Hey, and welcome back to Market Conversations. In this video, I just want to share my Robinhood account, what I have in my portfolio. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and stick around. But before I continue, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started a Patreon page where like-minded people can get together, talk about stocks, cryptocurrency options, and anything and everything in between. I will also be sharing my trades with you guys as well. I like to trade penny stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks, and selling options. Selling options is a great way to generate extra money without too much risk. So if you guys are interested, I will go ahead and leave my link down below and it's only 33 cents a day. Let's get started. Today I am down 1500. Let's check out the one week. I'm down $241. One month I am up 3700. Let's just take a look at the one year I am up 14,075% and all time same 75% I'm up $14,000. So the majority of this money that I made was because of buying leap calls on AMC back in December. Let me show you the trade right now. I bought 10 leap calls and I sold seven when it went up to $20 back in January. So this was a three call. I'm holding on to three. So if we take a look at my history, so you can see December 22nd was when I first purchased it. And then another one, December 28th. And then as you can see, I sold it January 27th when it went up. I sold seven contracts. And I collected $10,850 on that one. And with AMC, a lot of people got in late. They got in when it was going up. I got in back in December because I knew it was going to go up because people are going to go back to the movie theaters. So if you're already hearing it from the news, from Reddit, it's already a little bit too late. You want to get in before it runs up, just like RKT today. RKT, I've been holding it for a very long time. And of course, it ran up today. But if you got in late, around $35, you're limited on your profits. Yes, it can go higher, but what if you got in when it was around $25 or even $20? Let's take a look at my other trades here. I said I like selling cash secure puts. And with cash secure puts, all you need to put up is the collateral. They're not using that money for anything. Your mortgage will just hold the money on the side in case that you have to purchase 100 shares at the strike price that you choose. So with this one, ASRT, this is a cash secure put, one strike price. So what this is saying is if this stock, which is trading at $1.07, you can see ASRT share price is at $1.07, if that stock price is at $1 or below on expiration dates, which is March 19th, I would have to buy 100 shares at $1, regardless if the stock price is at 50 cents, let's say. I still have to buy it at dollar. And I like doing this instead because I don't mind owning shares at a dollar. And I was able to collect a small premium the credit is called a premium i was able to collect 25 dollars and i sold two so i collected 50 dollars so that is a 25 percent return because i'm only using 100 dollars as collateral and it expires in march let's see when i got this so i got this in february so one month i'm able to make 25 dollars if i let this go and expire on expiration dates who wouldn't want to make $25 on a $100 investments? Uh, $25, that's a meal right there. Let's take a look at some other ones. So we have Sensionix. So this is a $4 strike price. As you can see, the share price right now is at $336. So imagine that you purchase this stock when it was let's see where the stock was let's say you purchased the stock when it was around five dollars now you're down two dollar per share 
Whereas selling a cash of care puts for a strike price, you collect a small premium, and now your break even price is at two ninety. So even if I had to buy hundred shares at four dollars, I was able to collect that hundred dollars in premium, which lower my cost basis. I still have until March nineteen to see where the stock price will go. So I had to put up four hundred dollar as collateral just in case I have to buy. 100 shares at four dollars one so i am down on nano dimension this is a 1250 cash secure put and right now nano dimension is at 975 but i was able to collect 158 dollars so my break-even price is at 1092 so yes i would be down if nano dimension stays down but think about it if i have purchased 100 shares when it was at 1250 i would be down so much more than now so i am still getting the stock at a discount versus if i had just purchased it outright when it was around 12 dollars so i do have some more cash secure puts that i like to do and then some leap calls nokia leap calls palantir leap call so i am down 70 dollars because palantir is at 24.68 and this one expires 2021, 2022. So I don't mind because I know Palantir will get back up to at least $50 by the end of this year. And then, of course, I have some shares. I have AMC shares, Nikola shares, Vaxarts, and some other shares as well. Party City, BlackBerry, I'm down. Yeah, BlackBerry, I did get caught when it was going up. See, that one was a mistake, of course. Just like any other stock that goes up so fast, you get caught in it, and now you're holding on to it. But thankfully, they're shares. And then Nokia. And then I have Sundao and Luquan. Technology has been down because people are scared of this. They're panic selling. But I'm just going to hold on strong to my 1,500 shares right now. So you guys are holding on to your shares. Don't panic. Just wait until there's actually news about Luquan before doing anything about it. You can always just hold it or average down. So that's it for today. My goal is to make $100,000 with this account. I know I'm not trading aggressively right now. But once all this recovers, like BlackBerry, AMC goes up, Luquan, Nokia, I mean, we might see at least 50000 in this account. And then once these cash care puts expires, a few of these, I can go ahead and sell new cash care puts and collect income that way. We still have plenty of months left for me to make $100,000. What I don't wanna do is put money into it. I wanna use the money that I currently have in order to build my account to 100K. So let me know in the comments below what stocks I should purchase next. I still have a $1,000 buying power. Let me know in the comments below if you're holding onto any of these stocks or what you think about them. And also do consider joining the Patreon page I do share my updates in the Market Gold Investor tier. And I am just trying to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options, and just growing as a community and growing our accounts together. Trading, investing can be lonely, and you just want to be able to do it with a community. So do consider joining the Patreon page. Thanks so much. Hi there. If you are interested in helping out the channel, you can sign up for Webull if you haven't already. They are currently offering two free stocks now. It used to be four, so you don't want to wait until it gets to one free stock or no stocks at all. So you get one free stock when you open up a Webull account. And when you deposit $100 or more, you get one more free stock, which is valued between $8 and $1,600. And if you are transferring from another brokerage, they will reimburse you the fees up to $100. And you will also receive a complimentary three-month subscription to Level 2 Events NASDAQ Total View from the day you sign up. 
So guys, what are you waiting for? Two free stocks are waiting for you. Thanks again.